everyone. Welcome to your all levels yoga practice today. So come to a comfortable seat, Sukhasana, ankles crossed. Place your hands onto your knees, lift your chest, roll the shoulders down and back and close your eyes. Let's connect to the breath. So take a deep inhale, fill up. Open your mouth, exhale, empty. Two more of these, inhale, fill up. Out through the mouth, exhale. On this last one, when you empty the lungs, keep your mouth closed. So take a deep inhale. Keeping the mouth closed, exhale. And now blink your eyes open. Let's do a few cat and cows in a seated position. So inhale, draw the chest forward, lift the heart. Exhale, roll onto the sitting bones, draw your sitting bones back and round the spine. Inhale, elongate, look up. And exhale, contract, drawing back. So it's like cat and cow, but in this comfortable cross-legged cross position. So inhaling as you come forward, exhale as you roll back. Inhale, chest up, shoulders draw down and back. Exhale, round the spine. One more here, inhale, get lying. And exhale, draw back. Now come into neutral spine, reach both arms up on the inhale. Interlace your hands, palms up, shoulders down. And then as you exhale, just float your left fingertips to the mat, reach the right hand to the top opposite, opposite ear, and draw the right ear towards the right shoulder. So take a deep inhale and exhale, keep drawing that right ear towards the right shoulder. You can tilt the head down a little bit, releasing the back of the neck. Another deep breath in and exhale. And inhale, release, sweep both arms up. And exhale, just gonna take on the other side. So right fingertips down, left hand reaches to the right ear. Take a deep inhale and exhale, draw the left ear towards the left shoulder. Engage your tummy, draw your chin towards your chest, and just release the back of the neck here. Take another deep breath in, and a deep breath out. And then neutralize your neck, inhale both arms up. Exhale, have your arms come out to a T, and twist your whole body to the left. Take the right hand on top of that left knee, Walk your left wrist in, sit up tall, inhale, and exhale, spinal twist to your left. So inhale, tall spine, exhale, twist, another deep breath in, and exhale, twist. Now keep every, your hands where they are, just look forward and reach your left arm to the left, and then right from here, just reach it in the opposite direction. So draw your left knee down and keep reaching your left fingertips to the opposite direction. And just breathe here. Yeah, you can look down. Just keep your keep your neck neutral here. But keep reaching. You should feel this primarily in your left rib cage, left side body. And now inhale, come on up. Have your arms out to a T. Twist your whole body to the right and take your left hand on top of that right knee. Walk your right wrist in behind you. Sit up tall. Inhale, get length, and exhale, twist to the right. So on your inhalation, tall spine. On your exhalation, twist in. Two more here, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Another deep breath in. And exhale, twisting your thoracic spine. That's the middle of the spine. Come back to center. So just look to the front of the room. And now reach your right arm out to the right. Take a deep inhale, keep your left hand where it is and reach it opposite direction. So the right arm's reaching the opposite direction. And make sure you're keeping your sitting bones down. So keep drawing that right knee down as you reach the left arm over. And then again, the gaze, you can look towards this, just out in front of you, or you can even look down. So what feels best on your neck? <laughs> Take another deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, come on up, reach both arms up, palms touch, and exhale, hands to your heart center. From this position, we're just gonna come onto all fours, tabletop position. So hands shoulder width apart, knees hip width apart. Let's do a few cat and cows here. So inhale, look up and lengthen. You can curl the toes if that feels good. And exhale, round the spine, draw the toe under. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round the spine. So cat and cow into tabletop. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round the spine. And then walk your hands forward to the front of the mat. Lift your tissue up and back. And then see if you can just keep pressing that top of the head. May or may not come down to the floor, but pop up onto your fingertips. And when you pop up onto your fingertips, roll the shoulders down and back. 
engage your tummy. Imagine you, you're holding on to a little golf ball underneath each armpit. And you're just breathing here in puppy pose. Take another deep breath in. And exhale out. Inhale, lift the head up, walk your hands back. And then from this position, draw your knees together. And then just take your right leg out to the right and see if you can align your left knee with the right inner arch. And again, you can curl the back toes under or not. That's up to you. But take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, draw your hips back like you're coming into child's pose. So some people may come halfway. Some people may be able to go all the way down, sitting onto the heel. But again, pop up onto your fingertips. And take two breaths here. So this is releases the right inner thigh and leg region. Another deep inhale. Long deep exhale. And on the next inhale, come on up. So you're standing on your left knee. Slide your knees together and you'll take that on the other side. So the left leg comes out. Align knee to arch. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, draw your hips back. And again, you can keep the back toes curled under or not. That's up to you. But keep drawing your hip back, hip back. Maybe you come all the way down. Maybe not. Maybe this doesn't feel so good on your knee. Take another deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, climb on forward. Exhale, slide your knees together. And then keep your knees hip width apart. Walk your hands forward a little bit. Let's just do some hip rotations. So swirl the hips forward, bending the elbows, and roll them around. So inhale, bend the elbows, come forward. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, bend the elbows, come forward. Exhale, roll back. Two more inhale, come forward. Exhale, draw back. Another deep breath in. Exhale, back in the other direction. Just rotating your hips, swirling them around. And breathing. You can even close your eyes here. Just let go. And now walk your hands back. Keep your left hand where it is. Reach the right arm forward. And then from this position, extend your left leg. And take a deep inhale here. And exhale, draw the right elbow to the left knee. Inhale, get long. Exhale, draw everything together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Now flip the right palm down. Draw the right arm out to the right like you're sweeping the floor with it. And then engage your tummy and draw your left leg out to the left. And just hold here for three, two, and one. Now reach the right arm forward, left leg back. Bend the rear knee, reach the right hand behind you for the inside of the arch and kick the foot into your hand. So it's a gentle back bend here. Heart is lifting, getting long in your um, <laughs> left arm. Left arm is really pressing the mat away. And then release your right arm forward, left leg back. Right hand comes down, left knee comes down. Shake your head yes, and shake your head no. On the next inhalation, extend your left arm forward. Lift the right leg back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw your left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, get long. Exhale, contract. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw everything together. Another deep breath in, get long. Exhale, draw it together. Now inhale, right leg back, left arm forward. Flip the left palm down. Draw your left arm out to the left. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Engage your tummy as you draw the right leg out to the right. So the image here I like to say is like you're a little puppy peeing on a brick, peeing on a tree. <laughs> and then right leg comes back, left arm reaches forward. Another deep breath in. And then bend your rear knee, reach your left hand behind you for the inner arch, and kick the foot into your hand as you open your heart. So this is a gentle back bend. Breathing, lengthening, <laughs> maybe even smiling. <laughs> Another deep enough. Long deep exhale, release the left arm forward, right leg back, lower the left hand, lower the right knee, and then just draw your knees apart, the big toes may or may not touch, and then draw your hips back to child's pose. Take a moment in child's pose, and take a breath or two, inhale, exhale, another deep breath in, long deep breath out, and coming up to all fours, curl your toes, lift your hips. Take downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shanasana. And in your downward facing dog, make sure your downward facing dog is organized. So to organize your downward dog, shift forward to plank. 
So you're stacking the shoulders just above your wrists. You're engaging your thighs. And from this position, don't move your hands, don't move your feet. Just draw your hips up and back into downward hip facing dog, but keep your heels lifted up high. So stay on your tippy toes, press back, press back, press back, then lower your heels. And if you can't get your heels all the way to the floor, walk your hands back just a little bit till maybe you can get those heels down to the floor. And then from this position, just walk your dog, bend your right knee and bend your left knee. Switch and switch one more time each side, switch and switch. And you may want to, again, walk your hands back a little bit for this next movement. Reach the left hand to the outside of the right calf or heel and take a spinal twist here. So keep that right arm strong and pressing the mat away from you. And then maybe even bend your left elbow a little bit to twist your torso just underneath that right shoulder. You can take two more breaths here, inhale. Exhale, so spinal twist, shoulder release, right hip and glute release. <laughs> And then left hand comes forward, take that on the other side, right hand to the outside of the calf and heel, spinal twist. So you, again, you're gonna press that left arm strongly, slight bend of the right elbow to twist your torso to the left. Keep your thighs engaged, keep your tummy engaged, keep breathing, it's essential to breathe in yoga, another deep breath in, long deep breath out, and release the right hand forward. Inhale, shift forward to your plank, Exhale, drop your knees to the mat and lower all the way down, belly, chest, and chin. And now pop up into your sphinx position. So draw your chest forward, shoulders back. And now look to your left, look to your right, come back to center, come all the way down. Take your hands beside the chest and inhale, gently lift into cobra. So draw the elbows in, lift the chest, pubic bone is hooked, look to your left, Look to your right, lower all the way down. Come up onto all fours, tabletop, curl your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take two breaths in your downward dog. So root through your heels, engage your tummy, roll the shoulders down and back. Another deep breath in, and a long deep breath out. Now bring your big toes together, inhale, lift your heels, exhale, bend your knees, and now step your feet just behind your wrists. So keep your feet hip width apart, bend your knees, reach your arms out and hook your hands behind your back. If you can't do that, reach for a towel or a strap. Take a deep breath in and exhale, keeping your belly resting on your thighs, start to reach the arms up and over. Now slowly release your belly from your thighs and let the crown of the head, top of the head, draw towards the mat. And in this position, just shift the weight gently forward, so the hips come over the heels, but don't topple over, keep the thighs engaged, so you stay steady. And just breathe here, another deep breath in, releasing the shoulder, releasing the, the back of the legs, another deep breath out. And now soften your knees, and just place your left hand either onto a block, or fingertips just below the chin, bend your left knee, and inhale, reach the right arm up. So spinal twisting again, inhale, lengthen, Exhale, reach that right arm up. So you may stay here. Those of you who have the ability to flip your palm, bend your elbow, and hook your fingertips to the crease of the left hip, go for it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Take two more breaths here. Another deep breath in. And exhale, twisting. Now exhale, look down. Release the right arm up if you even took that bind. And then right fingertips either on a block, or just below the chin, bend into your right knee, and inhale, reach the left arm up. So inhale, lengthen the spine forward, and exhale, reach up and back. And again, you may stay here, or you may flip your palm, bend your elbow, and hook your fingertips to the crease of the right hip as you turn the chest over. But get in there and breathe. Take a few more breaths here. Breathing in and out of the nose. And as you exhale, Deepen that twist a little bit more. Another deep breath in. And exhale, twist. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, both hands place them on your chin, chins, and bend your knees. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take your hands to your calves and fold in. Three more of these, hands to shins. Knees slightly bent, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the back of the legs, forward fold. Hands to shins, inhale, 
lengthen. Exhale, refold. Let's do one more for good measure. Palms to the shins, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Now soften your knees, keep your hands to your hips. And inhale, let your head be the last thing to come up. So let that head dangle and then come on up. Use a strong core, strong legs till you come on up. up, up, up. And now stand tall in front of the mat. Let's begin with some half sun salutation. So top of the mat and have your toes come together. Bring your hands in prayer at your heart, standing into Dasana pose. Inhale, reach full thumbs up, look up. Maybe the hands touch. Exhale, forward fold. Soften your knees for this first round and keep your hands on your shins. Look between the legs. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, refold. Inhale, reach full thumbs up. Look up, bring your hands together. Exhale, hands in prayer your heart. One more. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold, chest to thighs. This round, maybe the palms come flat. Yeah, beside the, the feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach full arms up. Look up, bring your hands together. Exhale, hands and prayer your heart. Going right into lunges. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, look up and lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step the right foot back. Lower the right knee to the mat. And inhale, sweep both arms up. Anjali Asana. Take two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, lift the heart, draw the shoulders down and back, with a deep breath in. Exhale up. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back to downward facing dog. Take two breaths in your down, downward dog, deep, in, deep inhale, long deep exhale, breathe in, and breathe out. From downward facing dog, look at your hands, lunge the right foot forward, lower your left knee down. Release the back toes and sweep the arms up for Anjali Asana. So sink your hips, lift your heart. You can look forward or you can look up. But take two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Another deep inhale. Long deep exhale. Place your hands to the mat. Step your back foot forward. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, put your eyes Urba Asana. Reach up, bring your hands together. And on the exhalation, swan dive right back into your forward fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, lunge your left foot back. Lower your knee to the floor and sweep your arms up for two breaths in Anjali Asana. Inhale. Exhale. So sink the hips, but lift the heart. Another deep breath in. Exhale as you reach back. Hands to the floor. Step back to downward facing dog. Take two breaths here. Breathing in. And out. Engage your thighs. Engage your tummy. Breathe deeply. Another deep breath in. Long deep breath out. Look at your hands. Lunge your left foot forward. Lower the right knee down. Release the back toes and sweep your arms up. Two breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. So cueing the breath is really essential in yoga. So that you remember to connect to the breath. Now place your hands to the floor. Step your back foot forward. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach both arms up. Look up, bring your hands together. And exhale, hands to your heart. So we're going to go into lunges again, but we're going to add a few poses. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right foot steps back. Lower your knee to the floor. Inhale, reach up, Anjali Asana. And exhale, just take your hands to the floor and wiggle your left foot over to the left so the toes come out to a 45 degree angle. Keep the right hand where it is below the chin. Bend the rear knee. Reach the left hand behind you and reach for the top of the foot. Now, roll your chest back. So this is first option. Those of you who want to drop the right forearm to the floor, you may do that. But kick the foot into your hand and offer your chest back. And just take two more breaths here. This really releases the hips, the groin. Such a great pose in yoga. Another deep breath in. Long deep breath out. And now inhale, release your hand from your foot. Walk your hands back to the center. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your left foot back in. And then extend your leg for Hanimanasana, Ardha Hanimanasana. So take a deep inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, draw your hips forward. So chest drapes over thigh, chin to shin or forehead to knee. And you can walk your fingertips forward 
and roll the shoulders down and back if that feels good. If you feel more supported with your hands by your side on blocks, you can do that. But take a few more breaths here, inhale. And exhale. Another deep breath in. And a long deep breath out. And from here, just bend into your left knee again. Curl your back toes under and come on up into crescent lunge. Crescent lunge. So from crescent lunge, engage your tummy. Take your hands to your ribs. Think about drawing your ribs in and bend your back knee just a little bit. So bend your right knee. Take your hands on your hips. Draw your ribs in. Lift your chest up. Then from this position, extend your back leg. Lift your heart. Now arms reach up. <laughs> and just take a moment in your crescent lunge. So that strong back leg, engaging your tummy, sinking your hips. Should feel so good. Another deep breath in. And exhale, just place your hands to the floor. This time, step back to plank and take a vinyasa. Lower down to the bottom of a push-up. So this is called chaturanga. So shift the hips forward, bend your elbows, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, roll to the top of the feet. And up dog. And exhale, curl your toes, lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Breathing in. And breathing out. I like to refer to downward dog as like a reset pose. <laughs> So it, it actually gives you a moment to reestablish the breath because the breath can get choppy. Now bring your feet together and lift your right leg up. Bend the right knee and open up the hip. So press the arm strongly. Keep opening up that right hip. Maybe you look underneath your left shoulder. Square off the hips. Point your right toes towards the back of the room. Look at your hands. Lunge the right foot forward. Lower your left knee down. Release the back toes and sweep your arms up for Anjali Asana. So getting into the hips early on is Really, really great for our yoga practice. Really getting into those hips. Take your hands to the inside of your right foot and wiggle your right foot over to the right. So the heel and toes are at about a 45 degree angle. Then left hand below the chin, bend your rear knee, reach your right arm behind you for the top of the foot and lean your heart back. So kick the foot into your hand, first option. Second option, if you have the mobility to lower your forearm either onto a block, you can do that or onto the floor, but keep lifting the chest, keep Kicking the foot into your hand, maybe into the smile. <laughs> Breathe. I love this pose. Another deep inhale. And long deep exhale. All right. Release your hand from your foot. And then wiggle your right foot back to the center. Extend your right leg for Ardha Hani Manasana. So square off your hips first. Take a deep inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, draw your chest over that front thigh. Either chin to shin or forehead to knee. And again, you can pop up onto your fingertips if you want to here. Rolling the shoulders down and back to release the shoulders. Let's see if you can flex your right foot. That really allows you to get a little more opening in the right glute and hamstring region. We'll take a few more breaths here and now. Exhale. Another deep breath in. Long deep breath out. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, walk your hands back. Bend your right knee. Curl your back toes under, lift your back knee up, and set up for crescent lunge. Both arms reaching up. And again, take your hands right in this position onto your ribs and draw the ribs in. Like, pretend you have a corset here and you're tightening the corset by, draw, by drawing your ribs in. Then take your hands to your hips, bend your rear knee, that's your left knee, lift your chest, and then extend your left leg back. Belly in. Inhale, arms up. So crescent lunge becomes much more active when you hug your ribs in, like that corset, and you extend your back leg and sink your hips just a little more. Chest up, belly in. Another deep inhale. And exhale, hands to the floor. Step your left foot forward. Take your hands on your shins. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Reach up, look up. And on the exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lunge your left foot back. Drop your knee to the floor. Sweep the arms up. Anjali Asana. And exhale, hands to the inside of that front foot. Wiggle your right foot over to the right again. Left forearm or hand down. Bend the rear knee. Right arm reaches behind you. And kick your foot into your hand. Lean your heart back. Breathe. Smile. Awaken. Now we're going to add something here. So... Keep your hand, switch your hand to the inside arch of the foot. Look towards the front of the room. And then from this position, turn your chest to face the front of the room. So you're going to get into a different part of your 
hip here, and the left quadricep. And then you can stay here, or you can even drop your forehead to the floor as you bend your heel, your left heel towards your glute. So this gets into a different area of your left thigh, if you will. You're really getting into that front femur region of the leg. Another deep breath in, long deep breath out. And then lift, lift your head up, release your hand from the back inner arch, and then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your right foot to the center. Extend your leg. So you can take half climbing on. If you feel ready, wiggle, wiggle your right heel forward, wiggle, wiggle your left knee back. And you can even take a block underneath the right thigh to come into this variation of Hanuman Asana or full Hanuman sinking your hips. If you feel really supported here, reach your arms up. But take a moment, shoulders down, and breathe in. Breathe out. Heart is lifting, shoulders are drawing down and back. Flex your right foot. Another deep breath in. Long deep breath out. <laughs> Keep breathing in. Breathe out. And exhale, hands to the floor. Slide that right foot back. Curl your back toes under. Come on up to your crescent lunge on the inhale. Bend into your rear knee. Curl your tailbone under. Extend your leg. And exhale, hands in prayer. And right foot here, you're going to take a spinal twist. So take your left hand down to the inside of the right foot. Right arm reaches up and over. Open the chest. Maybe even roll onto the knife edges of your feet as you lift your hips. And breathe for three. And two. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Step back to plank. Lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, draw your hips up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take two breaths here. Breathe in. And breathe out as you press back. Another deep inhale. Long deep exhale. On your next inhalation, lift your left leg up. Bend, stretch and open. Press up your arms strongly. Engage your tummy. Maybe look underneath the right shoulder. Take another deep breath in. Long deep breath out. Score off the hips. Look at your hands, lunge your left foot forward, lower the right knee down, Anjali Asana, on the inhale, reach up. On the exhale, hands to prayer, and then wiggle your left foot over to the left. And again, right hand down, bend over your knee, reach the left hand behind you, open up the chest. Now again, on this side, we're going to take the different variation. So take your hand, left hand to the inner arch, then turn your whole chest to the front of the mat. And from this position, you can stay here or lower the right forearm down, bending your rear knee. Some people can extend the arm and get the forehead to the floor. What works for you? What works for you in this position? So oftentimes less is more. Popping up under the forearm is better. Go for that, but turn your chest forward and get into this different variation, opening up the right quadricep, breathing deeply for three. And two. And on the inhale, lift your head up. Exhale, release your hand from your foot. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your left foot to the center of the mat. And extend your leg. So you can repeat Ardha Hanumanasana, half Hanuman. Or wiggle your left leg forward, right leg back. Lift your chest. And again, if you have a block, maybe place it underneath your left thigh. Or, and lift your chest to support you here. Otherwise, those of you who can sink your hips and come into full pose, if you feel steady, reach the arms up. If you don't feel steady, don't, don't do it. But take two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Another deep inhale. And a long deep exhale. Now place your hands to the floor. Bend into your left knee. Curl your back toes under. Set up for crescent lunge here. So square your hips, engage your tummy, and reach your arms up. Crescent lunge. And in crescent lunge, again, hands to hips, keep them square, bend into your rear knee, lift your chest, and extend the leg. So remember the corset, you're hugging your ribs in, chest is lifted, and arms reach up. Coming into crescent lunge, maybe sink your hips a little more, lift your chest a little more, extend your back leg a little more, then hands in prayer, right hand down to the inside of the left foot, left arm reaches up for a spinal twist. You may stay here, or you may roll onto the neck edges of your feet, and lift your heart. And sometimes sinking the right hip a little bit and lifting it really gets into the right IT band. So if that feels good, maybe wiggle a little bit here, up and down, just to something that feels good to you. 
And exhale, left hand comes down. Look forward, lunge your right foot forward to meet left. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, sink your hips, and take Utkatasana. And then you your Utkatasana, interlace your hands, palms up, shoulders down. And then sink your hips, curl your tail, sink your hips, curl your tail, sink your hips, curl your tail, sink your hips, sink your hips. And then let's come right down to our seat. And we're going to do a little core. So maybe if you have a little extra padding for your sitting bones, you can use that. But draw your knees towards your chest. Lift your heart. Point your toes. And then take your Ardha Navasana. So half Navasana. So chest to thighs. Arms extend. And then reach them up. So this is first option. Second option, straighten the legs. Chest to thighs. Take a moment here for three, two, one. Then cross your ankles. Hands come in front of your shins. Step or hop back to plank. And take your vinyasa chaturanga. Inhale into up dog. Exhale, draw up and back. Downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, lift the right leg up. Bend stretching open. Or lower your right foot. Lift your hips and reach the right arm up and back. So hips up, arm reaching for wild thing. Take a few more breaths here, breathing. Lifting the heart. Let your head and neck be free. On the inhale, right hand comes down, right leg lifts. On the exhale, draw the right knee to the nose, give it a kiss, and then step it forward, pivot the back heel in, and come up to rear dress in A, warrior one. And in your warrior one position, wiggle your right foot over to the right. Bend into the front knee. Now have your arms come out to a T and hook your hands behind your back and take a deep inhale. And exhale, extend the arms over. Hug the right hip in and keep reaching the arms over. Hug the right hip in, reach the arms over. Humble warrior, another deep inhale. Long deep exhale. Then take your hands to the floor, lower your left knee down and wiggle your right foot over to the left, taking pigeon, an upright pigeon. So, in, so, Curl your left toes under, roll your left to bend, release the toes, and then pop up onto your fingertips so you're in this upright pigeon. And just take a few breaths in this upright pigeon, just breathing into this. <sighs> Another deep inhale. Long deep exhale. Just releasing and getting a little something something in the hips. And now hands to the floor, curl your back toes under, inhale, lift the right leg up, bend stretching open. And exhale, lower your right foot down to meet the left. Bring your big toes together. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Bend, stretch, and open. That's first option. Second option, flip your dog, left foot down. Hips up, head back. Maybe even open your mouth. Blah. <laughs> let it go. As I like to say, LTSG, let that shit go. So hips up, arms reaching, head is free. And then left hand down, left leg this high. Shift forward to plank, draw knee to nose, give it a kiss. Step it forward, pivot the back heel in, and come on up for Virabhadrasana, a warrior one. And in your warrior one, wiggle your left foot over a little bit, so you can have room here to fold in. Have your arms come out to a T, hook your hands the weird way behind your back, the way that you normally wouldn't shake someone's hand. Inhale, chest up, and exhale, arms reach up, hug your left hip in, and see how far you can fold in as you keep hugging your left hip in. As you reach the arms over, left hip comes in, arms extend, breathing, letting go, head and neck is free. Another deep breath in, and exhale out. On the inhale, lift your chest, exhale, fingertips to the mat, lower your right knee, wiggle your left foot over behind the right wrist, and set up for this upright pigeon. So curl the back toes under, lift your right knee up, hug your left right hip in, release the knee, release the foot, and then look forward in this upright pigeon. So it's like you're an upward facing dog, but you're in a pigeon. And you can even wiggle your hips a little bit from left to right. And just feel into that. It should feel kind of good. <laughs> All right, take another breath in, and a deep breath out. And then hands to the floor, curl your right toes under, lift your left leg up, bend the knee, open up the hip, and lower your left foot to meet right. Bring your big toes together, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, step or float your feet forward. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, separate your feet hip width apart. From this position, hook your first two fingers to the inside of your big toes for Padanusasana. 
Inhale, look up and lengthen. And exhale, bend your elbows and fold in. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. You maybe wiggle a little bit from up to right. And just soften the shoulders as you deepen the fold. Gaze between the legs. All right, we're going to take a pose that can be challenging here. So inhale, lengthen. Keep your left hand to your left hip. Wiggle your left foot in a little bit. And keep the right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. Shift the weight into your left leg. Engage your tummy. And then see if you can lift your right foot up just for a moment. Then maybe bend your right knee and come up to stand. So you're still hooking your fingers to the inside of your toe, but you cram up to stand. Now take a deep inhale, and exhale, Uttita Asta Padmasasana. So see if you can extend your right leg and lift your chest. Now reach the left arm up, lift your heart, and then swing your left leg, left arm out to the left as you swing the right leg out to the right. Keep your chest lifted, keep balancing on your left big toe, chest up. And now inhale, bring your right leg forward, bend your knee, take your left hand below the shin and reach the right arm behind you. Chest up. So here's first option. Second option, those of you who have balance and can maintain balance, take your hand, left hand, to the outer knife edge of your right foot and then extend the leg. So you might have to keep a bent right knee. Some of you may be able to straighten the leg as you reach the right arm behind you. You can look towards the side of the room or towards the back hand, but keep smiling, keep breathing. And now look forward. Bend your right knee, and you're just going to come into warrior three. So shoot that right leg back. Be able to draw some free. Spin your thighs together. Lift your heart. Then open your arms. Breathe. Ah, for three, two, one. And then exhale, standing split. So hands to the floor. Right leg, kick it up, kick it up. Maybe take your left hand behind the calf. Draw your chin towards your shin. Lift up, lift up, lift up. And then exhale, just very slowly. Release your right foot down to the left. Bend your knees, hands to opposite biceps, and just sway from left to right. Just sway from left to right. Get in there and breathe. Get in there and breathe. Soften your knees. Hook your first two fingers to the inside of the big toes. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale. Bend your elbows for your pata moustache again. And just again, sway a little bit from left to right. A little bit from left to right. All right, we're gonna do all that on the other side. <laughs> so right hand to right hip. Left hand, bring it to the inside of the left calf. You can even wiggle your right foot a little bit closer, but shift the weight into your right heel and then bend your left knee so you're covering your left heel off the floor. Now use your strong core to come up to stand. Keep that left knee bent, keep that left knee bent, and slowly engage your core as you're coming up to stand. Now, from this position, take a deep inhale and exhale, extend your left leg. Chest up. Now maintain balance and reach the right arm up. Utita asa padmasana A. Swing the right arm out to the right. Palm is facing away from you on the inhale and on the exhale. Left leg opens up. Engage your tummy. Draw up your left hip. Chest up. Smile. <laughs> inhale. Bring your left leg forward. Exhale, bend your knee and take your right hand below the knee. So right onto the shin, lift your chest and reach your left arm behind you. So you're balancing, steady, yes, this isn't easy, I know. Those of you who want to go deeper, reach your hand for the knife edge of the foot and then work on straightening the leg, chest up. If you really want to challenge yourself, look towards the side of the room or maybe look back <laughs> or maybe fall over like me. So, <laughs> so again, if you fall out of a pose, you just take it again, right? You just reestablish the pose, and you just take it again. You just take it again. We all fall in life. You just get right back up again. Now on the inhale, bend your left knee. And again, if you wiggle wobble, you, you, just, you just come back to, 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 stable, to stabilize. And then extend your leg. Extend your leg, via the drossing three, warrior three. And in warrior three, you can have your hands to your heart, out like airplane wings, or behind you, but spin your thighs together, lift your chest. And then come into Urva Prasarita Ekapadasana. Urva Prasarita Ekapadasana. This is called standing split. Right hand behind the calf, chin to shin, or forehead to knee, lift, lift, lift the left leg up. For three, two, and exhale, lower your left foot down to be right. Woo! Have your toes turn up, heels turn in, bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees. And take yogi squat. Take a little mini break, because that was a lot. So throwing something in right in the middle of a practice that was 
all about balancing, all about stability. It can be quite challenging. Chest up, tail draws under, and take a moment here. Okay, we're gonna take another arm balance. <laughs> Bakasana, crow pose. So hands to the mat, walk your toes behind your wrists, lift your heels, and work on snuggling your knees to your armpits. Round the upper back. So don't look down because you'll fall down. If you look between your legs or down, you'll fall down. Look out beyond your hands and round the upper back. Engage your belly. Draw one heel towards your booty. Keep squeezing your forearms in, other heel towards your booty. Then if it's available, straighten the arms. Straighten the arms, heels to the glutes. Straighten the arms. And then once you've got this going up, you want to shoot your legs back. Look forward, shoot your legs back. Chaturanga, in your little dog. Exhale, down dog. And take a moment. Take a moment in downward dog. Maybe even walk your dog. Maybe even let go of whatever just happened. And breathe. All right, let's take our pigeon. Again, but this time I'm going to give you a nice pigeon. So right leg lifts. Bend, stretch, and open. Square it off. Right knee just behind right wrist. Lower your back knee to the floor. Release the toes. Roll your left hip in as you hug your right hip back. Lift your head and chest, take a deep inhale, and exhale, now take pigeon. Forearms down, forehead to the floor, and if this doesn't serve you, lay on your back. So another variation is lay on your back, right shin over your left knee, bend your left knee, and take stop behind pigeon. So you may take this variation if that serves you. Otherwise, Ekapada Raja Kapatasana pigeon. So sit up for your pigeon, left hip hooks in, right hip rolls back, chest up, and lower onto your forearms, or you can even place your head on a block. But once you feel like you've got something going on in that right glute, as you draw the right hip back, left and forward, just settle into your pigeon and close your eyes. And just breathe. Breathe into this. And take a few more breaths here. Inhale in. And exhale. Another deep breath in. A long deep breath out. We're going to turn this into a twist and pop up to straight arms. Take your left hand, wrap it in front of the right knee. And then right fingertips just beside the right thigh. Lift your chest and turn to the right. That's first option. Second option, reach the right hand behind you for your right heel. So right arm reaches behind you. And this is quite a bit of a shoulder opener. So chest up and a spinal twist. <laughs> And just breathe into this. Take another deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more deep breath in. Long deep breath out. And release your hand from your heel if you've even got that going on. And then one more form of pigeon. So it's more of a back bending pigeon. So wiggle, wiggle the right heel towards the, a little closer towards your pubic bone. Walk your hands over in front of the right shin. Look over your left shoulder and bend the rear knee. Then reach the left hand behind you for the foot, just the foot. And right from this position, just again, turn to face the front of the room. So you may stay here. Facing the front doesn't serve you. Just stay right here. Those of you who've got the mobility to hook the elbow, the eye to elbow on top of the foot, do that. And if this feels pretty good, you can again, turn the chest forward. If it doesn't feel good, just stay looking to the side. Those of you who have the mobility to reach the right arm up and back, go for that. Maybe you're just reaching the right arm back. The final pose is to bend this knee and the right arm reaches all the way to the top of the foot and then the left arm comes behind you and now you're facing forward. This is a very advanced pose. It requires a lot of shoulder mobility and back bending mobility. But lift the chest, gaze back, and maybe the toes come to the top of the head as the elbows draw together. So if this isn't happening, Take the first A, B, C, or D variations I gave you, but breathe in, breathe out, another deep inhale, long deep exhale. Whatever you've got going on, release it very, very gently, very slowly, and right from this position, just roll onto your right tushy and swing your left leg forward. We're gonna set up for a spinal twist. Just swing the right leg to the outside of your left thigh. So you can take a spinal twist here, right hand and left elbow to the outside of the knee, or second option, bend your bottom knee, and take Ardhanasya and Drasana, half forward of the fish. So right hand comes behind you. It's often good to do twisting poses after back bending poses. Either left arm reaches, 
wrap it below the shin or knee, or left elbow to the outside of the knee for a spinal twist. But inhale, chest up. Exhale, twist your whole body to the right. Inhale, get length. Exhale, twist. Another deep inhale. Long deep exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, just draw the right thigh towards your chest. Hand to the calf, chest up. Stay here or extend the leg. And if you can extend the leg, draw the thigh towards the chest. And if you've got this variation of compass, take it or hands to the outer and inner arch. Thigh to chest, shoulders down and breathe for three, two, one. Very, very slowly, one more pose before we take all this on the other side. We're gonna come right into your ah, Janu Shushasana. So, left heel comes to the inner right thigh. Arms reach up on the inhale, exhale, twist your body to the right and fold in either forearms to the floor or to make it more structured, take your hands to the outer and inner edge of your foot. But flex your right leg, press your left heel to the inner right thigh and draw your chest forward and close your eyes. And take a few more breaths here, inhale, exhale, another deep inhale, long deep exhale. Breathe in, breathe out, and lift your chest, extend your left leg, cross your ankles, lift up, step or jump back to plank, lower down chaturanga, inhale urban mukha, exhale adho upashvanasana, downward facing dog. How you doing? <laughs> All right, just checking in with you. On the inhale, lift your left leg up, bend, stretch, and open. On the exhale, taking Ekapada Raja Kapatasana again. So left knee comes behind the left wrist, right knee down, release the toes, lift the chest, hug your left hip in, and then walk your hands forward. And again, if this doesn't serve you, lay on your back, left ankle just below the right knee, and take that supine pigeon. But soften the shoulders, and keep drawing your left hip back as you draw the right hip forward. You don't really move anything. It's more of an action of right hip forward, left hip back. That's not the action, but nothing's really physically moving. You're just feeling that action. And keep the shoulders soft. You may even close your eyes. If you can get your head on a block or the floor, go for that. And take another deep breath in. And a long deep breath out. And now pop up onto your forms and then take that spinal twist. Right hand, just bring it onto your left knee. Left, right forearm down. Left fingertips just beside your left thigh. Lift the chest and just gaze over your left shoulder. That's first option. Or second option, left arm reaches behind you for the heel of your left foot. And now lift the chest and turn to the left shoulder. Just draw down. So it's a shoulder opener. It's a lower back twisting spinal opener. And it should feel good. If it doesn't feel good, you get out of the pose. If something doesn't feel good, get out of it. And take another deep inhale, long deep exhale. Wherever you're at, release, look forward. And then wiggle your left heel closer to your pelvis. Walk your hands over to the right, look over the right shoulder and bend your rear knee. Reach for the inner arch of the foot and just work on maybe drawing that heel towards your tush. And you can look towards the side room. This may be enough, this may be it for today and that's fine. You stay here, you're like, this is good, I'm okay. Next option, wrap the crease of the elbow on top of the foot and start to turn your chest towards the front. Maybe even walk your fingertips towards the front. So you're kind of turning everything towards the front of the room. And this releases that right quadricep as you kind of turn the chest forward, that may be enough. Another option is maybe you could take your hand on top of the foot as you turn your chest forward and reach just the left arm forward. Maybe even reach it up. Like you're just such a pretty yogi. <laughs> Final option, maybe that hand can reach back for the top of the foot, other arm for the top of the foot, and you're, you're turning your whole chest towards the front, lifting your heart into the back bend, and then just gazing up, drawing the toes towards the top of the head. Elbows may come together. Soften the shoulders. This should feel really gentle on your lower back, and if it doesn't, you don't do it. You don't do it because this is a very deep back bend. And just keep breathing. Remember that, that cue to keep breathing for three and two. And when to release your 
your head from your foot. If that even happened, probably not, maybe not. Release your leg down. Very slowly, swing into your left tushy. Bring that right leg around you for spinal twist. So remember, taking the spinal twist. So right leg comes around, and again, we can take a spinal twist here, forearm below the shin, or you can bend your bottom knee. Actually, we're gonna switch here. <laughs> So you're swinging that leg beat around you, but we're taking it on the other side, actually. So right leg straight, left knee bends. And then you can stay, stay here, or you can bend your right knee, taking Ardha Matsudrasana. So right, either forearm below the knee of the shin, or elbow to the outside knee, lift the head and chest, and twist to the left. So twisting releases the lower back. We just did a lot of a back bend there. Now we're twisting to release the spine. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, twist. Another deep breath in. And exhale as you twist. Now, on the inhale, look towards the front of the room. Hug your left knee in. Very slowly extend the leg. So either thigh to chest or straight the leg or hands to the inner and outer foot and draw your chest towards your thigh, shoulders draw down and back for three, two, and one. And very slowly straighten your left leg now to the floor. Right heel to the inner left thigh. Draw your sitting bones behind you and set up for your beautiful Janu Shoshasana A. Inhale, arms reach up and exhale, turn your torso to the left and fold in. So forearms down, or more structured, take your hands to the outer and inner edge of your foot. Engage your left thigh, soften the shoulders, and just take, take a, a few deep breaths here, breathing in and breathing out. Long deep inhale, long deep exhale. Keep breathing, surrender. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, release. Cross your ankles. Step or hop back to plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. From downward facing dog, bring your feet together. Lift your heels. Bend your knees. Look at your hands. Step or hop through the seat. And let's just take a nice, beautiful Pachimottanasana A. Inhale, chest up. And exhale, just fold it. Let everything go. Engage your thighs. Soften the shoulders. So if you cannot do this with straight legs, elevate your hips, sit onto a block, and fold in. Or bend your knees, lift your chest, and fold in. So you'll need choice here. But inhale, chest up. Exhale, fold. Let everything go. And again, if you want to be more structured, you can wrap your hands to the outside or maybe just hands to the outer edges or hands to the floor. You do you. Let go. And take this time in this forward fold with your eyes closed to just be a little meditative. Close your eyes, soften the shoulders, and just think about coming into stillness, what that means to you. Because pretty soon we are going to be coming into our final poses. So, what does stillness mean to you? It's so important to take time to slow down because we're often just go, 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 go people. But slowing down allows us to really feel, to really connect to our truth. On your inhalation with your chest, exhale, just bend your knees and lay onto your back. Now keep your left knee bent, extend your right leg. Take your hands either to the calf, or if you can hook your fingers around the toe, go for it. Those of you who can straighten your left leg, straighten it and bring your heel to the floor. And then take a deep inhale and exhale. Keep drawing your right thigh towards your chest. Keep drawing that right thigh towards your chest. Keep drawing it in, drawing it in, drawing it in. Once you've met your edge, hold there. Just hold there and breathe into that. And say hello to your right hand strength. So in this action of drawing the thigh towards the chest, I want you to also do the action of hugging that right hip into its socket. So right hip is hugging into its socket, but the thigh is coming towards your chest. You don't have to lift your head up. 
So oftentimes I can crank on the neck a little bit, but keep drawing that thigh in. And then just gently bend your right knee, taking a half happy baby, and just roll a little bit from left to right. And then just bring that guy down, so bend your right knee, lift your left leg up, either hands to calf or with the big toe. But the first action is to draw that left hip into its socket, then draw your thigh towards your chest. And then again, you can hook the toes as you draw the thigh towards the chest. And again, if straight in the right leg works for you, go for it. Heel to the floor. So you keep hugging that thigh towards the chest and keep drawing your left hip into its socket. And just breathe. This releases your hamstring. Should feel kind of good. Two. And one. And then half happy baby. So again, your right knee might still be bent here, but bend your left knee underneath the left shoulder and just take half happy baby. Hug your knees in, reach your legs out, and then cross the right knee over the left. If you can hook the toes, hook the toes, lower your heels to the mat, shift your hips to the right, and drop your knees to the left. Right arm comes all like a spinal twist, eagle twist, gangudasana on your back. So we're beginning to wind down. We did a lot of poses today. Now it's time to wind down and settle in and just let go. You've done enough. Oftentimes we think, oh, I've got to do more, but whatever you did, it was enough. In honor of what you were able to do today, don't worry about what you weren't able to do. Every day is a different day. Your body's going to feel differently. Inhale, come back to center. Open your legs wide. Left knee over right. If you can hook your toes, hook your toes. Shift your hips to the left. Lower your knees to the right. Right hand on top of your left thigh, left arm out. Lift your chest up so you can snuggle the left shoulder down. And just settle in here to this nice spinal twist. Maybe even close your eyes. And just feel the rewards of what a yoga practice can do for you. All this breath, all this movement, every day is a new day. And just feel into whatever today brought you. So every, every yoga practice will bring you something new, something different. And I say just let go of expectations, because expectations lead to disappointment. So don't expect anything, just go with what is. And now inhale, bring your knees back up. Exhale, release the cross, hug them in. Rock a little bit from left to right, and now take your Shavasana. So bring your ankles to the outside edge of the mat. Lift your chest up, roll your shoulder tips down, let your feet flop out, and close your eyes. And let your jaw remain soft. And take this time for rest. So if you have the time to take a longer shavasana, please stay here for three, five, ten minutes, whatever you need. Those of you who need to only be here for 60 minutes, just roll your head to the left, and roll to the right, again to the left, and to the right. And bend your knees, hug them in, roll a little bit from left to right until you roll onto your right side. And then come up to seat. Either taking Sukhasana, Ardha Padmasana, or full Padmasana. But bring your hands in prayer at your heart so you can close your eyes by, by your head. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, exhale. Thank you for joining me today. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.